Hey everybody guys, so we're back with another Iron Sight uh, little discussion, I guess, is what it's called. Uh, we're going to be doing kind of an interesting one. It's if the nuke should be an Iron Sight. Now, the, the obvious answer is fuck yes, that would be a lot of fun. But in the, we're going to look over it a little bit more in depth compared to just saying yes, I would like it in the game. I think it would be good to kind of discuss why it should and shouldn't be in the game and how it would even be implemented in the game in the first place seeming as the rewards for kill streaks doesn't really reset it is keep going after death so that's something to also take in part though which is a big uh big little wrench in the the spokes of a bike yep that that stops the bike all right um but it's I was talking to another content creator about this on a live stream and I asked uh, what would you think about the nuke being an iron sight because I think it would be really interesting he's like oh I love it but and then I'm like oh wait I don't know how they would do it because of the fact that you can't really like sure you can like do 25 kills but at the same time like if, if you die you would still get it so you can't do it that way so I was brainstorming about it and the only thing I could think of is if they took away the system that is in place right now where, per, where um, the streaks re reset upon death or if you want you would take up um, one of the perk slots to enable that again. I think that would be the only way where you would be able to do a kill streak similar to the nuke like or a DNA bomb or a VT rocket or whatever in that sort of sense so it doesn't reset. Um, Grant, I think that would be a good introduce introduction to the game overall, even if they didn't introduce a nuke along with it. But I think it would be a little bit better to do. You wouldn't see as many kill streaks out all the time, and I think it would be a little bit more fair in a way. Um, I think the offensive kill streaks is a actually yeah. I just think it would be better just to do that. I was gonna say offensive would be great to just continuously have that, but I don't I don't think that's really fair either. Then so I think it would just be better to take a perk slot so you you lose a perk to do that but you still can get your uh, kill streaks after you die everything and they'll just stack it throughout the game. And granted they'll probably want to lower some of them uh, I think it's eight kills for a fucking UAV so I think it's a little high they want to might tweak that a little bit but again it's not my game this is just my personal opinion on this I I just I'm thinking of what might be an interesting uh, things to add to the game itself. Anyway, um, would the nuke be fair? I think uh, I think it could be if, like I said, if it is implemented in the way where you have to take a perk slot to be able to even like do the reset upon death thing. And if you have that enabled, the nuke just cancels out and you can't select it, kind of thing. Um, I also think if you want to go with a more Modern Warfare 3 and after kind of approach where you can only do gun streaks, I think that might be a more interesting way to do it. It would be a lot more difficult and I think it would be better overall instead of getting like, um, what's it called? Um, I can't remember, Jesus. Uh, like, let's just say you put an escort drone and then you put, um, I really can't remember the name of it, Jesus Christ. Let's just say Hellbird, okay? Let's say you have those two before the nuke. Um, granted, it does take a lot to get a Hellbird, and I've only gotten one once, so meh. I don't even know how, what kills, how many kills you get for that. That might actually be the, the definition of a nuke kind of thing. Um, I do think those do need to be re reworked in a way, though, just because I do think they're a little bit high for uh, the points you need to get. Like, I think it takes almost... 30 kills just to get a hellbird in the first place so yeah but I do think um, something that would just end the game entirely would be a great addition to the game overall I think it would be a lot of um, it would bring a lot of people to the game just because of the fact hey there's, there's a nuke in this game and it's like really good um, it's in any any game mode and such I don't think search and destroy would be a good one but I mean if you've gotten search and destroy I think that would be amazing I don't think anybody's ever gotten a new gun search and destroy because I don't think it's fucking possible. But nah, that'd be cool as fuck. Um. Anyway, I do think 
it would be a really cool like addition to the game in a future update or way the fuck far down the line kind of thing. I think it'd be a really cool update. And I would love to see that in the game. Um, I know there's a lot of other things they need to work on personally first. Um, I would say like if they're gonna implement this, it, I think it would be a great time to implement it around the time it goes on to Steam. I know that's what they're kind of working towards right now, so I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. They said they wanted to work out um, some personal, like uh, some netcode issues. They want to. They also want to be able to fix some of the issues with servers, and then also with gun balance and everything else. They they want to fix a lot of things first before they um, put on the Steam. Someone was commenting on that in the partners chat before. Um, so which is very understandable um anyway that's not really what this is about this is about the new thing i do think it would be a great uh, addition to the game i do think it could be fair if they adjust some of the things like i've said in this video like um the um like toning down uh score streaks kill streaks drone streaks whatever um if they tone those down a bit and um so let's just say uav was like four or five i think that'd be perfectly fine uh and a hellbird was like 11 could be wrong it might i actually don't know what it is it could be a lot higher than that for right now but i do think it would be a uh, interesting addition and i think it would be a very much welcome addition from people i've talked to um this isn't gonna be a giant video about all the other things i think it would be implemented and really cool i think this is a very good spot to end this um so if you guys agree or have any other ideas of what you think why it shouldn't be in the game or should be in the game let me know in the comments i would love to hear what you guys think as well and yeah that's just my personal opinion if anybody who's watches it or makes the game about this or anything um if i don't know i don't know why you're watching this but if you enjoyed it then let me know in the comments <laughs> Uh, anyway guys, uh, enjoy the rest of this gameplay or whatever else is going on in the background if it's already ended and that's the end of the video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. I will see you in the next one where I'm not really sure what I'll be talking about. If you guys want to let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments below, I will totally check them out and I might use them for future video ideas. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take you ready. Peace.